I think what is great about the museum is that it appeals to people of all ages, from, from little tiny kids who've got um, shadow puppets, magic lantern shows, to people who are deeply interested in, as it were, the art and the science of, of the cinema. There is something here for everybody, um, and you won't find anything like it anywhere else in the world. The best thing about the museum are the hands-on exhibits, the way they let you be involved with every aspect of the evolution of film and television. And whatever you draw has to move a bit. The children draw on a strip of paper and they get to put it, do their own design, put it into the image and spin it and watch it move. And that's really clever because that gets their attention for ages. That's great. You can have a go at things and it's more exciting. I just think it's real fun and interesting here. There is an awful lot to see here, so be prepared to spend two, three hours here. It's a journey through time. It, it's a run through the history of the film industry and of the television industry. Um, and an awful lot has happened in both those industries over the last hundred years. And for your delight and delectation, we have this morning a optical toy, ladies and gentlemen. It's marvellous to be able to see something right from the very beginning of, of optics, I suppose, back in the... 1850s. It's a bit of a time trip, really, and uh, it's fabulous for that reason. I like the history side of it. I like the Hollywood history side of it. $5,000 last year on perfume. I told her, Gloria, take a bath. <laughs> now come on, follow me, girls, and I'll show you how to live like a star. It's very important to know how you can I like all the American accents and the way they dress up. They look like proper characters. We have good Soviet film to educate you, Bajalster. One, two, three. I really enjoyed coming to the museum today. It was so exciting. I just wish I could be an actor when I grow up. I like being here because of, I like dancing a lot. It's like a good film in many ways that this, you come back and see things that you wouldn't have seen the, the first time. You can enjoy it again and again. It seems to do very well with the adults and the kids. I'd recommend it to teachers of children of all ages. Everywhere you go, there's always something different to do. This is direct television from the studio of Alexander Pepp. <laughs> hey, Zach! Oh, yeah. If you want to know about television, my man, this is the place to be. Here at the Museum of the Moving Image, we see the technological advances right from the earliest beginnings right through to the present day. It teaches the children how television started, that it just didn't start with colour television. I'll now hand you over to our correspondent to the Museum of the Moving Image on the South Bank. This place is the envy of Hollywood and American filmmakers. There's nothing anywhere else to compare with it. Everybody I know who's come here have loved it. That's why we came here today, we were recommended. It teaches you so much and it's fun and you can have a go at all these different things. We really enjoyed it last time when we came, so we thought we might come again. It's good value for money, it's a lovely family day out. It's changed since the last time we were here, there seems to be a lot more. I expected it to be good and it is. If you weren't a film enthusiast before you came, you certainly would be when you, when you left. It's the best place to learn about movies. I'll definitely come back. Now to someone who really needs no introduction at all. It's a great pleasure to have you on the programme. Let me start by asking you what your favourite TV programmes are, apart from mine, of course. 
Well, uh, Jerry Anderson's programs are very clever, uh, especially Space Precinct, which is the most recent. And what was the last film you saw in a cinema? Tell me what you thought of it. Well, the, the last film was Bean uh, with Rowan Atkinson. It was very funny, um, especially with the painting ruined. Do you prefer to stay at home and watch TV or videos or go out to the cinema? Well, obviously the television is uh, much more accessible, uh, but we, we do write... Do you treat ones. television as an information medium or purely for entertainment? Well, ma mainly for entertainment, but uh, sometimes I, I get lots of information from it. If you were the programme controller of a TV station, what changes would you make? More children's TV, more films, for instance? Um, well, I'd probably have uh, quite a bit of news with uh, children's TV entertainment as well. Do you know which year ITV started? 1955. Turning back to the cinema, do you know who directed Battleship Potemkin and Citizen Kane? Um, was it Orson Welles and Eisenberg, I've forgotten his name. If Hollywood decided to make a film about your life, which star, living or dead, would you cast as yourself? Probably Marlon Brando, because he's very funny. Yes. Well, we're almost out of time now, but can I ask you what you thought of the museum? Has it taught you a lot about cinema and TV that you didn't know before? And do you think you'll watch more TV and see more movies now? Well, not, not necessarily more television and movies, uh, but seeing um, how, how good 1940s film was with... Uh, well, thanks the very much. I really enjoyed talking to you. Next week, I'll be talking to Sharon Stone and Bruce Willis, so until then, goodbye. Now to someone who really needs no introduction at all. It's a great pleasure to have you on the programme. Let me start by asking you what your favourite TV programmes are, apart from mine, of course. Well, um, Jerry Anderson's are very clever, um, especially Space Precinct, which is the, the most recent of them. And what was the last film you saw in a cinema? Tell me what you thought of it. Um, the last one was Bean, and it was absolutely hilarious, especially with the uh, picture getting ruined which is very realistic. Yeah. Do you prefer to stay at home and watch TV or videos or go out to the cinema? Well, obviously, um, TV is uh, much more accessible, but we do occasionally go out to do the cinema. Do you treat television as an information medium or purely for entertainment? Mainly for entertainment, but sometimes I get some information from it. If you were the programme controller of a TV station, what changes would you make? More children's TV, more films, for instance? Well, probably I'd have uh, quite a bit of news because that's very informative, uh, but also some entertainment. Do you know which year ITV started? 1955. Turning back to the cinema, do you know who directed Battleship Potemkin and Citizen Kane? Oh, uh, it was Wells and Eisenberg. Uh, I can't remember if Hollywood decided to make a film about your life, which star, living or dead, would you cast as yourself? Um, probably Marlon Brando, because he's quite funny. Yes. Well, we're almost out of time now, but can I ask you what you thought of the museum? Has it taught you a lot about cinema and TV that you didn't know before? And do you think you'll watch more TV and see more movies now? Well, not necessarily more TV. Uh, but um, it's, it's amazing to see how clever 1940s film was with uh, Well, thanks Red very shoes. much. I really enjoyed talking to you. Next week, I'll be talking to Sharon Stone and Bruce Willis. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>